Alrighty, let's play this in full. Ooh, we got bubbles. Cool. <laughs> nice. It's very cool. Now, before I say anything, um, there was someone that posted a comment on the channel, and I'm gonna read that to you just in case you didn't see this. Uh, the very valid points, I never thought about that. To me, it was just about the mechanics and uh, not really thinking about what he or she was saying. I don't remember who commented this. So the question is, why would this character leave in the first place? Because this is really big and seems very, very safe. But the argument here is that this could probably already be on fire. All of that, maybe wood and the sheets, that could already have um, the fire on and maybe you could have like a quick glance, this arm, could be, I know this is very uh, destructive note as it changes everything. I'm just, I just want to pass it along because there's some good notes in there. You know, that could be something where it is slightly more like, oh, we got to be careful this fire here. So then that would be the jump over there. So that could have a very nice effect in terms of storytelling. That's the note here. Maybe the bed is even sinking to the lava slowly, right? So it could almost be uh, a tilt or something like this, how it's slowly going down and uh, there's fire here, which adds more urgency. The dresser is made of wood, so he wouldn't be able to hang out there for too long either, which is why it continues through the dangerous jumps. Right, so it's basically following the logic of, well, everything's on fire, <laughs> right? So, but then you have to start going, all right, well, then is this on fire? Is this on fire? It could be this, and fire could be creeping up here. And uh, again, quick look maybe over there. And it could be like a drawer that's out on fire or you know, slowly going out. And maybe maybe the lava is raising. I don't know. And then this happens. What does he say here? Uh, maybe the door or some kind of exit is just beyond the swivelly chair. And that's why he goes over here. So maybe... Tricky with with this, how you would do that, but maybe this would be the well. But why would you have? I mean, I guess you could do something where the desk could be here, and that's the wall, and here is a window, and uh, you know, somewhat half open, and it could be doing the swivelly thing. It could be ugh, this, and on something like that, it could almost be like an arm reach out. Ooh, we need to get to the window. But turns again and then does the same thing trying to get to um to the window as you know by now everything will be on fire anyway that was a comment on the channel i thought those are interesting notes since you are mentioning your email um general feedback here would be great you know that things are still clunky so that's why passing this along Let's pretend none of this happens. I mean, this could also just be cosmetic. And, you know, it could just be tilted and it would be maybe a slight change in that leg pose. And the rest is just fire, but it doesn't really... The only thing would be maybe some head turns. But speaking of head, I'd be careful on something like this. It feels like that head has a, either, you know, world, head align, IK head, whatever the control is on that rig. But there's a lot of change here in terms of the rotation in the chest and then going back while that head doesn't quite move it feels very fixated here i know that's the that's the point of interest there for the character to look at but it feels very much like a, a stable gimbal where the head doesn't move you might be able to go in there with the earlier foot roll and as you get to this with like a slight earlier swivel around this these are picky notes here And maybe you wanna. It might be a bit of a, a bit of a faster push, and maybe a bit up, and then by now that leg would trail a bit more. So you really want to feel the push. That this is pushing really hard until the character is like that, where it's off balance enough to be on this side. So maybe a bit more of that. And as you push this fast, this arm would drag just probably a bit more. So of that sudden surge. This feels a bit clunky, like you mentioned here. That turn, how it starts a rotation this way, but then kind of stops and it also 
line wise see this it's almost if you do this here see how that chest doesn't go past well I should probably delete this past that line here that i'm trying to draw Let's see here so it could be something uh not changing color but taking off onion skinning here as you turn and have a, not a push off here but it's still a bit of a forward lean that by this i would probably do less hip forward chest back maybe half that so that character is still somewhat hunched forward it also adds to the line going i need to go this way and also kind of the urgency and just the feel i need to move forward and then delay that a bit because i know you're doing this going back looking because of that right but it's also looking here so i would just make sure that this works a bit stronger in terms of that change of momentum and once you're there with the proper weight and everything then phew, this goes up and then whoa and then you can have that reaction but then i would probably also be in a pose where it might be something where it's a bit more out like that where it's always a bit too relaxed i think at this at this point character might be more ready overall just a more triangle pose on your legs there and then you can always bring the legs together for the jump I do like this though. I do like the wobbliness and whoa, getting ready. Same thing here. Just watch out for your head. Head has a lot of one axis rotations and a lot of staying within the same axis, doing big moves. Because even on something like this here, you, you have to think about what what side is, is favored. This side or this side? It's just like lean maybe to the side, left handed, right handed. I mean, this is more stable because this is off the edge here so all of that will also change the side to side rotation which then in turns in turn changes the uh, balance here and the head rotation side to side that's cool this definitely feels delicate whoa that's cool i like it don't think for that we'll just be proceeding with arcs and and uh and spacing and timing all that you know you get to points where the art where the hand stays and pops back and it suddenly goes down. So that's for later cleanup or on the land like this, bringing one arm lower just for negative space. I probably rotate this further back so we don't have this this growing out. This might even be, see how much you can twist it, but imagine that would be a bit further out so that this shoulder here and then you can still see part of that arm just for silhouette. So you have more stuff like that less stuff like this where it just wears the other arm this momentum wise watch out there's a big move back here especially with this rotating over and the momentum going back and then here it suddenly stops so this would definitely continue either you slide that foot back for uh, balance or that stays here and takes it all f all the way back here um, to be a bit more balance there but that move back right there doesn't quite work just because if there's so much energy momentum starting that just stops so that has to continue that route would probably be here <coughs> excuse me and then you have to look at okay well how does that route stop from going there is, is this leg sliding back then pushing this way or is this take, taking a step back and then pushing this way again i think this you might get a bit too relaxed I think you still want to have arms up and maybe some faster head darts looking around like, what can I do? What can I do? Maybe it's because of that. It's a bit more of an urgent look. That is good then. Then you go, whoa. Same thing as you move over this way. It's a big move that kind of stops. So you want to make sure that that doesn't go back, uh, stop too quickly. Same thing here with this going back and going back like that. And I know you mentioned this is all clunky. I'm just... Mention what I'm seeing, and then you can you can grab all those notes and do whatever you want to do. This f starts to feel also a bit too sideways. I almost rotate this a bit more. I mean, he, I know he has to look at that, and it is a bit of a sideways move. I might just be a bit sooner turning over into a position like that. And then you have to look at the transition of 
I will probably maybe bring that leg in sooner. So it's the leg that initiates that turn. And then have a bit more drag on that. It's like, whoa! And then it, it catches up. Might still be dragging. Pow, pow, and then it catches up. Might even go, whoa, out this way. And then you can think about, well, do I want to do the window here, table here, change? And that's about that. It's almost like everything should be on fire. He looks into camera and goes, this is fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.